Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video we're going to be discussing the various types of chylomicrons. In the previous video we discussed the structure and function of chylomicrons and in this video I want to touch on the various stages in the life cycle of a chylomicron. So we have various stages and at each stage the structure of the chylomicron varies slightly so we're going to look at this in a bit more detail in today's video. So the first stage we have is a nascent chylomicron and this is at the beginning when the chylomicron is initially formed. So it's released from the enterocytes via a process called exocytosis and then they pass through the central lacteals of the lymphatic vessels and into the lymphatic system and then they eventually drain into the blood via the thoracic duct. We mentioned this stage in the last video on how chylomicrons are actually formed so when they're formed in this stage it's known as a nascent chylomicron. So the structure of the nascent chylomicron at this stage um, there are triglycerides, cholesterol, phospholipids and apolipoproteins in the actual chylomicron but the apolipoprotein present is known as apolipoprotein B48 so this is the apolipoprotein present on the nascent chylomicron when it's initially formed and then going on from this the nascent chylomicron circulates the blood remember it's drained into the blood via the thoracic duct so now it's circulating the blood it exchanges some components with high density lipoprotein um, and then the high density lipoprotein will donate apolipoprotein C2 and apolipoprotein E to the nascent chylomicron and when this happens it's now known as a mature chylomicron and apolipoprotein C2 is a cofactor in lipoprotein lipase activity so now at this point the triglycerides present inside the chylomicron can be now hydrolyzed because the apolipoprotein C2 is the cofactor for the lipoprotein lipase enzyme activity so following on from this the triglycerides are now being hydrolyzed at the target tissues so the store of triglycerides in the chylomicron will now become lower so at this point the chylomicron will donate the apolipoprotein C2 back to the high density lipoprotein and when, once this happens it becomes known as a chylomicron remnant and it's a much smaller in its size. The apolipoprotein B48 and apolipoprotein E is still present on the chylomicron remnant and what this does is it signals the liver to break it down via endocytosis once it returns back to the liver. So this was the life cycle of a chylomicron. You can see it starts off as a nascent chylomicron, then into a mature chylomicron, and then after the store of triglycerides is reduced, it be then becomes known as a chylomicron remnant once it donates the apolipoprotein C2 back to the high density lipoprotein. So that's everything I want to discuss in this video on the life, st the life cycle of a chylomicron. If you have any questions regarding this topic, write a comment below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.